Hi and Assalamualaikum everyone. I am Adila Rasli, one of your tea hubs who like to do a book review in conjunction with Book Review Challenge conducted by Tranglish as Community. So this is the book that I would like to review for today which is Letters to God by Noah Hafsa Hamid. This is actually a sequel book containing five books altogether and this is the first one. And there are four more which is the second one, Heaven Sun, Dear God, Rock Diamonds and Divine Blessings. And uh, actually, I just bought this uh, book two, a few days ago and I didn't finish it yet. So, I um, decided to review this one, Letters to God, as I'm completely reading the whole book. Okay, actually, uh, basically this book contains a very simple story, which means here it's very easy to understand the language, which is very simple. And I would like to recommend or uh, to encourage to those who want to improve their English language and uh, who are looking for a simple English uh, young adult book genre so this is the book for you okay it's actually about a good university student a muslimah named Sarah who writes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to share her experience being as uh, an overseas student her feelings and emotions uh, to be separate with her parents best friends how uh, they treat uh, or they confront a bad intention students and many more and she talks to God through her diary aka letters and actually it's not a sad story it's about finding the courage to be strong and make the living world in here and the hereafter some of us may choose to speak to god but sarah choose to write to god okay as mentioned on a page before prologue is dedicated to all the strongest and women around the world okay it also tells the readers about their reality of life and how allah is always with us sometimes we feel down we must remember that allah is always with us we only need to communicate with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any way such as write the letters a beautiful concept introduced in this book which we may share our worries grateful and everything and what i remember a self reminder from this book is actually uh somewhere in my head uh i didn't remember reading about uh, being a nice to people who are who are rude and a strong muslim is someone who can control her anger and when we are angry we should remain silent so that we do not utter the harsh words last but not least i would like to thanks to the author madam narhafsa hamid for writing such a very beautiful and calm story characters and storyline are well balanced and the english is great simple fast and easy reading i would recommend this is a must read book suitable for all ages please read stay safe and take care